Okay, thanks everyone for joining us. And uh, this is the Hampstead cover-up. And uh, we're joined now by Ella and Abraham, who's going to explain a bit more about the case and uh, loads more information about the social services and uh, the corruption that's going on. And uh, maybe we'd go on to some other uh, topics as well. So, just want to say hi to Ella and Abraham. Hi, too. Hello. You got yourself? I don't know. Okay, I was wondering, how comes the police interview, the first police interview on the 5th, happened solely at night? Right. Yes, yeah, so what happened, um, <clears throat> we arrived to London on the 4th, um, I think it was afternoon, and we went straight away to uh, Abraham's brother-in-law, uh, officer, yeah? He's a police sergeant. Well, he's a, surgeon, a police sergeant. Uh, sergeant. Jean-Clément Yahiru. Yeah. Jean-Clément Yahiru, yeah. And yeah. Um, so we stayed with him a little bit late. Um, and the next day he sent, um, well, he's um, obviously sent the information to his um, superiors and uh, uh, about I think two o'clock in, in the afternoon, two policemen came to us, um, not in the uniform, and from the child uh, child protection unit of Barney yeah. Police Station. One of and them, was, sorry, one of them was named Cleo Papa Cristo, and the other policeman was. Uh, the other one was uh, Jonathan Dix, I think, yeah. and um, mm, so we were a bit. Um, <clears throat> We were a little bit suspicious in the beginning. No, no we we were. I was. I, I was. was. Too. And because not we knew true. we knew the extent of um, uh, of this uh, activity and uh, this criminal activity activity mm -hmm. which, which is going on, and uh, and we knew that, that these people are quite well connected. So, anyhow, uh, um, these two policemen is they seem to be quite in, uh, they they, quite, they seem to be interested. Um, they couldn't believe it in, um, at the start, and then um, as they heard the story, they um, became more and more persuaded uh, that um, that is uh, it is real and is going on. And um, Cleo yeah. became visibly excited. Ah, uh, well, at the prospect of so, so they come to your house, these two police officers, in, in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yes, then yes. arrange for an interview to be done that same day. Yes, well, um, everybody realized how how important it was <clears throat> to go ahead as soon as possible, and they called so us later on. Yeah, yeah and then they called like uh, like well, quite soon, maybe after a couple of hours, maybe five o'clock, and they said, "Well, okay, will you come to the uh, to the interview?" And it was um, for eight o'clock, I think they um, well we arrived there at eight. Right, okay. and um, yeah yes yes and uh, what happened the uh, children each each of them were um, interviewed for about maybe hour and a half actually but maybe about an hour and then of, then they took uh, the samples of their hair for the test which um, by the way this the result of this test um, never uh, never arrived um, it's kind of got lost even though I inquired about it but then even with the police disclosure, we, I mean, you, ca you can't find it anywhere, the, t the results. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, they then, they've done another res uh, another test, which maybe a couple of months later, which um, I wasn't there when they took it, so we don't even know who's here, they, they've been uh, analyzing. <laughs> is um, that when they was with the... Um, in the foster care. care. When, the foster when they were taken away, yeah. it was put into... Uh, Foster care. That's that right. That's right. After a couple of months later. Yeah. So they've yeah. done this test, but without my knowledge, uh, without uh, my con con uh, consent. So, so why why hmm? why are the children's being interviewed now? Um, you're not actually in the room with them. So I mean, you was just um, outside the police station. You know, at the main no, no, desk. No, no, I was in the police station. I was in a different room. And uh, I did ask them whether they need my consent or they need to, my presence. They said, "Oh no, 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 we don't need, we don't do this. We have uh, authority to perform the interviews without uh, the consent of the parent because of the nature of the allegations they deal with." So anyhow, right. um, 
But coming back to your original question, it was a, it, it was quite a bit of uh, things going on. You know, this hair sample, and then they've been uh, scanning the uh, the evidence. Which, at the time, yeah, if you arrived yeah, there, eight, yeah, the, the you know the plan. Sorry, the plan of the um, secret rooms and uh, children's drawing. And uh, by the way, all this evidence uh, got concealed as well. And then uh, Steve Martin, he uh, he suggested for um, the children to show the property, um, the property where uh, the <clears throat> the rape, uh, the, well, the, where the sodomy and um, the abuse was going on. Yeah. Um, so that that took time. I don't know. Maybe it was about another how, forty-five how did minutes. How to show them? We just got a map book out, or? Well, they remember. They remember the addresses, even though they were confusing us uh, at right, some so point. Right, so they got a computer and <clears throat> they used Google Earth or something? Called. They go, yeah, they used Google Earth to try to identify the locations. And um, so that proved to be difficult, the children were tired, and uh, so we finished like, I don't maybe 11.30. I was, did, you, did you notice anything? Was everyone polite to you, or were you getting strange looks, or people arriving? You know, a lot of people arriving, or what do you did mean? you notice what, anything suspicious? What do you mean in the in the police station? Yeah, or you were just kept out of the way, basically. Uh, no, I didn't know. I, I didn't see anyone apart from those two policemen who were interviewing children, uh, yeah. Steve Martin and Cleo. Um, uh, so it's quite you that did the did the children mention anything to you after the interview now what once you've left the police no, station? No, they were they were quite they were them. quite excited and they yeah. were quite relieved that, you know, the process started and they started to give evidence. Uh, yeah, we were we were quite to uh, all, all of us we were tired but quite happy. Yeah. Although the yes, children were getting tired. And uh, but then they kind of you know things were dragging on, and um, it seemed uh, the it seemed to be important what's been going on. Yeah, but did um, they mention uh -huh. anything in in the car on the way home, or maybe the next day? Did they mention anything? Um, because um, there's a bit in the interview with Elisa where there's a phone call made, um, and it sounds like someone's shouting outside in the next office. Uh, no, I think and I'm sure. That I'm sure was, there was a swear word used as well, and you can see Elise um, stops talking at that point. You know, nothing concerned them. Um, it's only a couple of days later when uh, we didn't hear anything from them, and um, it was a bit something was co confusing was going on. And then I on Monday, on Monday, I received an email from the solicitors who were acting on my behalf. In the previous proceedings, the, the, the proceedings were already going on in regards to the yeah. contacts, right? For almost a year. So this solicitor, he's sending me uh, an email saying that um, he received an email from Diamond, who uh, who stating that um, he, someone called him. Did he say? Did he say? I can I can I can actually publish this email. I would I guess. We can actually can put it in the in the in the interview, right? Yeah, so sure. This is the time when he was tipped off. Um, I think he's even saying in this email that maybe social social worker uh, called him. Ah, no, no. He's asking why children are been taken to the police, and uh, the details of that um, email was quite um, quite um, how to say quite quite surprising. For example, he said that someone escort, escorted us to the interview, and it's true because we asked uh, Jean Clément to come and um, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know come from his work and then to uh, um, support for you and that, yeah. to come together with us uh, to the interview yeah. because we're not trusting the police. Remember, the police is involved. Yeah, this was this was children um, were telling us. And um, many police stations around um, our area looks like been involved, right? And yeah. Barnet as well. There is one person in Barnet, as, um, and we mentioned this this to police as well. You know, but this never they never came back with any uh, response about it. And uh, <clears throat> but what I mean is, someone already tipped him off during this weekend. So it was Friday night when we went for the first interview, the fifth. 
So yeah. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, he already, well, he, he already knew before that, right? Because uh, the solicitor re uh, re uh, received this email on Monday. Right, okay. So, and so. when children um, heard about it, <clears throat> they, they, they started to... Um, Their behavior they were started stressed. to change they were stressed they about it. Huh? That he knew. Sorry? Did their behavior start to change? With, they was made aware that he knew. Well, they were. They decided to get stressed about it because uh, even Alisa saying in his, in this um, little video, which a friend of ours to uh, filmed, she's saying that police is doing nothing, and um, that uh, maybe Gabriel Gabriel actually mentioned. He's saying that um, he knows about it, and yeah. the same thing was going on on the eleventh, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the way through, you can see that the police, they're not really interested in the case, are they? They don't want to listen to anything that um, Gabriel was saying. I mean, he was coming out with quite a lot um, of good information that he wanted to expose. And the police officer was always trying to change the subject or make out that he didn't understand what was going on. And he was talking too fast. And, you know, he wasn't really interested, was he? No, he wasn't at all. No, no, no. He was, he was cutting short children a lot interrupting them and changing and also asking leading questions, you know, trying to, um, you know, concentrating on um, on furnishings in Mr. Yeah, Holling's the house, for example. And the dildos, he seemed quite interested in the dildos at one point and, and wouldn't come off the subjects, which I thought was uh, quite out of order, you know, how big was it, how wide was it, how long was it, what yeah, colour was it. Yeah, that was, you know, that for, was for very a concerning. Guy, you know, I remember... He, he could have um, allowed him to explain some other things rather than staying on that subject there. But that just goes to show you what you was actually dealing with, what, what's now being come, uh, been, been made aware to everyone now, that the police are corrupt and, and more than likely part of this cult. And his, and his, and his uh, interest in this kind of thing also, also comes out uh, in the interview, huh? Oh yeah, very clear, very clear, you know, because obviously they're not thinking it's going online, are they? It's in the police station, it's their video, they're not expecting it to come online, are they? And um, maybe if we could just quickly go on to that. Now, that was um, Sabine, apparently, that made them videos um, available online, she reckons, but she didn't publish them. Well, <clears> I mean, <throat> she did publish it, because, i tell you why, um, when she when she's uh, got these videos from me, and of course it was uh, in strict conf uh, confidential sort of uh, yeah, way. Yeah, because you uh, was actually doing your own video, wasn't you? So she must have been aware of that. Sorry. You was actually going to do your own video, wasn't you? So, um... Ah yes, no, no, uh, not at that point, not at that point. Okay. We're talking, okay. we're talking back in December, because right. remember. Uh, we believe that uh, these videos were published um, for, for a long time. We believe that it was uh, these videos were published in February. I thought it was published on the tenth, right. and um, on the eleventh, I had a meeting uh, with Mackenzie friends, and um, I it was, the, it was for the second time I told Sabine um, that to make sure not to publish anything. And she kept quiet, and everybody else in the room kept quiet. And in fact, they already knew that last evening, it's, this video has gone viral already. So they kept quiet, they didn't tell me anything. And now we're learning that uh, some people already watched those videos in December, on the 15th of December. And this was, um, I would imagine, she, she put... She put uh, those videos why, up. Why, why hmm? do you think they put the videos out then? I mean, um, if you wasn't actually thinking about doing it yourself at that point. Um... Well, as she, say, as she said in the email later on, um, she done, she's done it her way. She said she's right. clearing, saying, I've done it my way. Yeah, well, so... that's what Belinda was saying. That uh, She was saying that it needs to be stopped now, and this is the only way to do it, is to make well, it public. Yeah, exactly. She's um, what she did. She's um, she. Do you want to explain? 
Okay, Sabine and Belinda are members of an organization known as the Mackenzie Friends. Um, they would describe themselves as a lay legal advisor and um, <clears throat> often mothers find themselves um, oh, with, with, the, with the Mackenzie Friends as a, as a last resort. Yeah, no, what, <laughs> what also comes to the mind that um, we also now learn that uh, this has been done in other cases as well when the court materials were published and uh, the mothers were uh, uh, got in trouble for that. Um, they got the blame for it. Yes, yes, it happened. It happens. Well, as what I know of, at least on two on two occasions before. In right, uh, Vicky Hague's um, case... There's rumours going around that the yeah. McKenzie friends uh, are working with known pedophiles and uh, really they're not there to help. Um, they're just there to, to sabotage gather the, the information or um, to well, store things or... There are lots to, of rumours, there are lots of rumours, A lot of rumours, but uh, we only can comment on what we experienced. Yeah. And what we know, and now we're talking about, uh, with other mothers, and we learned okay. that it, it happened before, they do this kind of things before. Yeah, uh, without, without, with, without mother's consent. Yeah, that's doing... no good, is it? It's not very yes, precious, and, so. and it, so what happened, in, she, she published this Google Drive in December, so some people already watched it and already commented on um, Ike's David David Ike uh, Ike's um, forum. David Ike's forum. Yeah. yeah. But uh, for some reason, uh, but for some reason, you see, we had um, said. Um, so I had a meeting with them. Uh, I don't remember the Tuesday was eleventh or tenth, but we also have a, had a meeting with them on the second with Mackenzie friends where we discussed that we're thinking to uh, make those uh, uh, private videos um, public, especially those videos were not part of the court, uh, court material, so really I could, I, could, I, could, I could do anything, I, I could have done anything I wanted with these videos. And when she heard that, um, she, what happened there, remember? Well, she said, what happened is you had asked, you had asked Categorically, asked them not to publish. Yeah, I asked. Yes, we, we, we asked them categorically not to publish anything because the so were. So this is were, Sabine. Sabine is talking about now, or Belinda. No, it was quite. It was the a McKenzie me, It was friend. a meeting with Mackenzie friends. friends was four or okay. five people, I think. Mm -hmm. There, yeah, or three, four. Some four yes. there. Four people was there. Yeah. And stuff. More my control stuff. So okay, you've come back from Morocco. You've had a nice holiday out there. Well, apart from. The little incidents with the food and stuff like that, but you've come back. It, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't little incidents, and it wasn't. Um, I won't say it wasn't that. It it wasn't that pleasant at all. You know, the three but weeks it was a pure hell for traumatic. all of us. It, it was, was really traumatic, children, and it was very shocking. stressful, and we shocking. we hardly slept. You know, it was. Um, it was where we, it, the tension was uh, extremely high. We came back stressed. We came back with post traumatic stress disorder. You know like when you go on holiday sometimes and you don't really rest and you come yeah. back from holiday and you actually need a holiday to recover from your holiday? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was like it was that, like that but, you know, exponentially. Yeah, well, it's, it's not a nice holiday to go and have to talk about. I mean, there's no good place to be to talk about a subject like this really, is there? You know, no, and it was every day, every day. Every day yeah. something new was coming up. Um, in the beginning, it was just um, uh, the information about him touching them uh, inappropriately, and then it was uh, then it was another information about this pedophile ring before school time, and then then it was what started what they started to disclose what's going on in school, and uh, the sex and the sex days and injections. And then at the very end, uh, all this uh, blood stuff, bloody stuff started to come out. You know the sacrifices and um, and of course you know the names and uh, the the most wicked one they left for the for the for the uh, 
for the last uh, for the last days. So it was you know we were we were, 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 were extremely stressed all of us. Children <coughs> children were stressed as well. They were fearful. They were confused, uh, but they were relieved on the other on the other hand as well. So yeah, they were confused. They were confused. It was it was very difficult for them because once they'd begun <coughs> uh, disclosing, you could see that often, particularly Elisa, she was reluctant to disclose because of her relationship with her father. She obviously loves her father. Yes. And she doesn't want <coughs> she doesn't want anything to happen. To she him. didn't want then. Yeah. She didn't want initially. But then she was highly protective mm -hmm. of him. But as but she, gone, and they're fearful as well, aren't they? They're fearful. Well, of course, very they're fearful, yeah. As well. Okay. They even been talking about even in, well in foster care they've been um, and while um, examined by the doctor they've been expressing their fears and they've been, they've been talking about the nightmares they had that um, their dad would come and kill them so they were they were very fearful and um, anyway this is just this is the cult this is the sodomite death cult of the government attempting to cover up. And they've taken Elisa and Gabriel because Elisa and Gabriel, they know the inner workings of the cult because they've been in the cult for four or five years. And um, although apparently he's been um, he's been sodomizing them since since birth, they've been maybe in not this since birth. I would and, and say. And his side of the family as well. Sorry. Pardon? And his side of the family as well is. His side uh, of the family yeah, they well. they describe as well. they're describing yeah. in 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 in. Um, in many details, that uh, his um, family w uh, was especially participating, heavily participating in the preschool years, where um, he was taking them into this group of people regularly. You know, children, he was taking uh, that their dad was taking children regularly to this pedophile ring, yeah. uh, naming, con uh, mentioning the same names consistently. Yeah, because I mean, at one point, Gabriel even says that he's been shown pictures of when he was younger. That's correct. This is where they started to do his. Well, uh, Diamond looks like this is uh, the time when he started to uh, his uh, career as a child pornographer started to take off, as well as a snuff movie maker. And snuff uh, yeah, and children are talking about. Um, Adults been covering their mouths so they couldn't breathe. They were pinching suffocating their nose, them. Suffocating, suffocating, yeah, them, suffocating them. And Which is something they accused me of in the um, in well, the, the local in the authority. Yeah, yeah, the local authorities got children took it. So, yeah, they like to accuse you of what they're guilty of. Something else we've learned. Yeah, yeah, they like to reverse it, don't they? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, basically, okay. So um, you've come back from Morocco, and. Uh, Everything's been disclosed over the t time when you was in Morocco. Well, not um, all of them. And you haven't, you haven't had a, a, a very nice holiday because of the subjects um, and, and the fact that you found this all out now. Um, and then when you've come back now, you've uh, arranged to go to the police station the next day. Uh, someone's arrived at 2 p.m. at your house that day and arranged for an interview for 8 o'clock at Barnet Police Station. You've arrived there, they've taken uh, samples and stuff like that and done an interview which was going on past 11 o'clock at night. Um, you didn't notice anything while you was at the police station and, and the children haven't mentioned anything but obviously after that you started to become uh, suspicious of the way that the case was going. It was the investigation. Well, first of all... And, and what about the social services? I mean, obviously they... they were they from the fifth? Were they there, or were they from the eleventh? Uh, no, no, they were. She came to the house. When did she come? Her birthday. Which one? The blonde one that came with them. Were well, they been involved in your life? Oh, right, right. Or? The only time, the only time, uh, they well, as far as uh, as far as uh, we are aware, uh, the first time they came uh, was um, on the tenth. They came to uh, my house um, unannounced. Uh, claiming they tried to call me, but uh, they couldn't get through, although I didn't have any missed calls. Anyway, they just came uh, to surprise us, uh, I would imagine. Six people, I think, came. Uh, a couple of social uh, workers and um, uh, I think four policemen. 
And yeah, they all come at the same time. Yeah, yeah, they came to our house and they were insisting to come in and talk to us and see the children. Right, uh, okay. um, and did they actually come in the house? Yes, they, they came in the house and they... I mean, um, before police, it sounds like they was um, thinking about taking the children then, so... The 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 master the master the master but because we were quite um, complying, we yeah. were trusting still. Yeah. They decided perhaps not to do it. Right, and they, obviously think, they obviously couldn't the um, see anything inside the, the house that would um, okay, good. Yeah, good point. cause good them point, to do anything. Because I didn't realize it, you know, yeah. like you actually drew yeah. our attention to that. Six people yeah. came, why have six people? And they were quite in, um, quite um, insisting on seeing children, remember? They yeah, and like you said, they come unannounced, so... That's right. <laughs> God that's knows right. what they were thinking they was going to find there, but obviously they found a normal house, a normal family, and uh, they obviously couldn't do nothing at that point. But it sounds like at that point they were actually thinking about doing things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they've been explored. it's a secret society, it's a secret cult. It's a, it's a child sacrifice sodomite cult, death cult, and they've been exposed. And we've got two children who have been long-term members of this cult who are, you know, describing graphically the inner workings of the cult. Do you see what I mean? Is In great detail, yeah. so? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it's shocking that the police are actually in this cult. And, and the, I mean, obviously, we know it involves um, high-level people. It's not a surprise. It's not a surprise because no. even even the social services, as as an establishment or part of the establishment, being formed by uh, by the pedophiles and members of cult uh, themselves. themselves. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Abraham can expand on this. He's done extensive research on that. Done a little bit of research. Yeah, yeah. Please yeah. see. Please see. Yeah, you did. What's his name? Peter About Ra Barbara Cahan Barbara and uh, Cahan, yes. Peter Wrighton and uh, uh, Barbara uh, Cahan's Vla uh, husband Vladimir Cahan. Yeah. They looks like uh, the couple they met in Oxford, That's and right. then we're not quite sure yet, uh, but we'll, I'm sure it will come out somewhere. Yeah, Oxford academics. Oxford academics. Um, yeah. they, they never had children. They both had a. They had a. Um, how can I say? They had a. Um, an intense interest in in child care, Barbara Khan. For some her, reason, and for husband, some unknown reason yet, and, or and, and her husband, who was a, suspect, though. who was a child psychiatrist, Vladimir Khan. Yeah, we believe he's part of the brain drain from Russia at that time. Anyway, they married. They, psychiatrist. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a Tavistock and home of his psychiatrist. Anyway, they worked together, and they married in 1955. And it was Barbara Cahan who was a pioneer in the field of um, child welfare and um, residential, specifically in, in, in residential care. Who and was it was also? her, mm -hmm. go on, it was her who legitimised um, Peter Wrighton's academic sort of uh, respect, you know, academic credence, as it were, or credibility within yeah. the within the. Um, child welfare and social services sort of profession. So it was that unholy alliance between Vladimir Khan, a Tavistock home office child psychiatrist, Barbara Kahan, pioneering child welfare worker. And, and it was and, home office. And Peter and Peter Wrighton, yeah. And Peter Wrighton, government with other government connections, Peter Wrighton. And so um, it was this unholy alliance that um, formed formulated and, um, and formed the guidelines for the development of child welfare and residential child care throughout the last 50, 60 years. And this is why the cult has been able to um, have such control because these three, whilst they may not be responsible for this epidemic of um, child sacrifice and sodomy, they greatly facilitated this um, this plague through their, um, uh, as I say, formulation of of, of um, child welfare and child residential care policies. Um, yeah, I mean because Peter Wrighton is, is is a known paedophile, isn't he? I mean he he got caught at the school that he was teaching at, 
Um, he's got three. He's a friend with Charles Napier. Absolutely, yeah, he got a Charles <laughs> Napier. He got Charles Napier a job. He got him a, a plum job after he'd been after he'd been convicted. And, yeah, um, yeah. And he got another. And he got another. The address was five to nine Tavistock Place. That's the one. And he got another guy, another doctor. What's his name? I think it was Morris, another paedophile, to um, yeah. to endorse. To um, yeah, to endorse his um, his um, reference of, um, of 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 Napier. But let's get back to. Um, Let's get back to Wrighton and um, and uh, see Wrighton. She says, um, see what what made us suspect Kahan ultimately is that she she says that she um, she had no idea. She had no idea, and he hoodwinked her. She she believed that he was he was homosexual as he he, he enjoyed a homosexual relationship. He had a living a living partner, and she believes that he was homosexual. But this was a time. This was in the seventies. A time of um, liberal, new liberal ideals, as it were, and it would appear that the climate was such that, you know, nobody challenged his um, his uh, philosophy, as it were, or yeah. his his ideas regarding sex with children. He he regularly he regularly wrote, and um, and he spoke freely amongst his um, his colleagues. Um, regarding his uh, his sexual proclivities and his his um his, uh, his well, say it seems to be um, quite a few of them were doing it at the time well, um, within was, the government. Well, he was writing extensively. Look, it goes on. It's he's part a, of their he's culture. He's a founder of Pi. He's also yeah. He, he's he's a founding member of Pi. His number. He's, I know his a uh, his uh, membership number is fifty one. So it looks like he was possibly the fifty first. And he's because he's he, he's fully participated in the um, in advising uh, Barbara Kahan in formula uh, formulating the practices and uh, policies, uh, policies yeah. for child care for the child care and, residential, and uh, particularly residential care. And it looks like they were targeting vulnerable children. Definitely targeting vulnerable and, children. Um, and all this referencing, you know, this is it to place, you know, like uh, oh, yeah, and they pedophile help. referencing yes. um, other pedophile to get into school and into care um, into schools and into care home institutions. Positions, yes. and and this is why we have the epidemic that we have now because they've had yeah. fifty, they've had half a century. And the Lady Foundation. They've had a f that 50, 50 years to insinuate and place their their colleagues, their their, their cult colleagues, their sodomite colleagues within strategic positions within wealth within social care and, and child welfare now and, and social services specifically because this this was all of these um these were like the ancestors of social services this child welfare um yeah i mean the child well, they bureau, a lot of charities as well don't they um, yes because taking these, these south, you know um, on special days and stuff like that and sailing Absolutely. Well, oh yes, yes. You, you That's got, the Asimov. Uh, the Asimov Foundation and that. Yes. Yeah, well, look, yeah. these are academics. These are Oxford academics, and you know they're considered the brightest brain in the country, and they're formulating the you know the guidelines for for child welfare. You know. So why basically, pedophiles are <laughs> telling us how we need to bring up our children. Absolutely. Exactly. They're, making exactly. It, they're making it easier for themselves to gain access. To gain access to vulnerable children, and these are the very same ones. She, I mean, Barbara Kahan was instrumental in outlawing corporal punishment in in the fifties, early in the fifties. You know, we were still we were still getting the cane in my school, in you know, in in, in the seventies. So I don't know what happened there, but um, but the first uh, the first steps towards uh, uh, declaring that uh, you know that the physical punishment of the children. Is um, is uh, is, a, is a crime, and this is the it can trigger it. It triggers the uh, the social services uh, allows ch social services to take your children, and um, so it looks like these people been been employed by the government. Barbara Kahan was um, uh, yeah, the was introduced to into yeah. the close circle of the of, que of the of the Eng English Queen. Oh, she's a member of Privy Council. I forgot to mention that. Yes, Barbara Kahan. And um, so these people, so. they looks like these social services yeah, 
was established to actually carry out the job for those elite members to snatch the children to um, introduce them and uh, like to sodomize them and also to get the children for for the sacrifices and um, what we're experiencing now is what ha what uh, been um, so done the seeds that were sown then now is now bearing fruits bearing and the fruits of uh, Koram with Koram uh, Tavistock and Kafkas and all social together. services as an unholy alliance in um, in in the course uh, of industrial industrialized institutionalized child snatching. All right, so they're, they're stealing children on an industrial scale. They have quotas. They have quotas that, uh, that of children that they must have up for adoption, and they're selling. They're stealing children and selling them to the highest bidders. Oh yeah, it's big business, isn't it? Fostering. And uh, but what is what is um, really. Um, surprising and for, for me as an outsider um, mm. of the society is how for 50-60 yes. yeah. years the well the people didn't know anything was going on well, well, in, yeah. in, the in the children homes I mean Ella, people knew people right. knew but nothing been done about it's an it an open yeah? secret but in the UK. people knew like they was threatened with their jobs or um, maybe the they had uh, <coughs> something so, else so they could blackmail them with. Or obviously, they've been given a lot of powers. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's part of the and obviously, you know, they, and they've been they look trustworthy, by the don't they? They look well. trustworthy, they sound trustworthy, and a lot of this is based on honesty. You know, everything's yeah. based on honesty and, and trust. trust. Yeah. But now you can't trust no one. How you can you trust, trust it? Look, it's part of the culture, these public yeah. schools. The right of sodomy is an integral part of their of their passing through the public schools. Yeah, it looks like that way. Yeah, and if this is just a this is just a continuation of that culture, and so to get should, anywhere in power, be, it looks like you had to have gone through something like. That. Yeah, but to know, I mean, but to to discover, I mean, the only reason we discovered the Baba Kahan connection was because they, rather arrogantly, they've used Baba Kahan's name. In their money laundering, money laundering operations oh, that, no, they've no. Got, <laughs> that they've got, that they've had running on on in Finchley Road and other boiler rooms um, locations, you know, around 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 um, around London. So yeah. they're doing they're doing they're doing um, money laundering on an industrial scale, and um, Barbara Khan's name is one of the names that they use for the um, shake, uh, shell companies, for the fake companies, they use Barbara Khan's name as, as a director on over 35,000. Wow. 35,000 different companies. This is research that's been done by a fellow called um, Gordon Bowden and his um, associate, uh, Mr. George, George Lees, or Professor George Lees. They, um, they understand the intricate workings of the... Um, of the money laundering Ponzi schemes and the scams that are going on, and they've and they've um, traced them um, via Galina Upson. We've we've traced Cult them. Member. We've traced them via Galina Upson and her husband Mark Upson. Their names are on a company with a, a company that has Barbara Kahan's name on. So their their names are implicated in this um, money laundering um, operation. How many companies? And these are the two um, people that the children have mentioned uh, yes. as abusing them as well. This is Galina Upson, the, uh, the Ukrainian a real estate agent. Mother who, of James. Mother of James Upson, who's, uh, who's one of the 20 special children, who doesn't, obviously doesn't want to be in the cult. He's a bright, he's a bright lad and he's, yeah. and he's continually rebelling. Anyway, so we've got Galina. Was there an incident he was fighting uh, with a teacher in school? And I wondered, I mean, what, what caused the child to fight with the school teacher? I wonder. I wonder. Anyway, we've got, so we've got Kalina Upson and Mark Upson. <clears throat> now, this Kalina Upson is the same, <clears throat> same one that gave the children a pornographic, um, a Ukrainian pornographic cartoon DVD as a birthday present. We've still got it as evidence. <coughs> Unbelievable. And yeah, which police never was interested. Never interested. And in fact, when they came on the tenth, we showed them this evidence, and they were not even interested. And and Galina Upson, the children, the children have made drawings of, of a number of the um, abusers, alleged abusers, alleged cult members, and yeah. um, 
and the what the drawing of uh, Galina Upson's um, pubenda, her tattoo on her pubenda, and distinguishing mark. The drawing it went missing during a photocopying um, session at a um, particular MI5 witch's house. But fortunately, we had already made photocopies, so we've got we've got a, we've got some photocopies of um, Galina Upson's tattoo and her pubenda. The and birthmark on oh, the yes, hip. Oh uh, yes, the birthmark on the hip, precisely. And we shall be sharing that with the grand jury. With the it's, it's with strange how that's the only one that went missing. Well, I think that one and another one. She's quite a key person. Oh, she's totally a key player. That's yeah. That, and she's that she's high in the in the, in yeah. the cult. Yeah. And um, those plastic willies that children talking about, uh, they were did three different colours they used. Um, uh, and according to the level of the members of the cult, there was um, skin color, uh, black and white, and, and gold. white and, and gold, gold, I think, and gold. And gold. So uh, skin color color was the highest or the lowest? No, the lowest. Uh, we don't remember. We've I think it all down. we don't remember. Well, now. Like, like I was saying, that, that police uh, officer that was doing the interview, he seemed pretty interested in the the equipment there, didn't he? He yeah, kept making yeah, reference well, to it, the it, size it, of it, the length of it. Yeah, there is. You know, how did they pull it in? You know, you could see Gabriel felt quite awkward with the question. Most definitely. But, most you know, definitely. Yeah, he, he but just, he was enjoying. Steve was indifferently yeah, enjoying uh, it. He seemed Steve to be Martin, enjoying yeah. it. Yeah, that's right. You can actually hear that. And, and it, it's shocking to hear that a police officer would talk to a child like that. It's not shocking when you know. It's not shocking when you know that these cult members, these paedophiles, were instrumental in formulating these child welfare and social services and protection guidelines. and child protection. You know, once well, you it's know because it's, it's breaking before your face, isn't it? It's, it's happening live. You're watching the video. It's meant to be a police officer. You know, it's, wow. that, that's what I mean by shocking. You know, the fact that you just you don't expect something like that. Well, there you? it is in your face. You know, you've got sexually yeah, deviant. Yeah. yeah, but and the, the point I'm I'm, um, I'm making is that. Um, Children were describing those um, different level, different levels um, of the cult, cult members. Yeah, and Galina Upson was a high cult yes. member. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. She was, uh, yeah. and uh, yeah. and now we can we, actually see that we can this, see what? this yes. is what, what was happening. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Link you know, she's linked to the, Alex course. Cameron, right? Yes, totally linked. Totally linked. Yeah, totally. And um, she's, in, she's involved with and the now scam. We the understand, money scam. And now we understand why. They have no intention to return the children because yes. of the cover that uh, Diamond has yes. within the government. He's been doing the offshore banking, you see. They do the money laundering here and then he helps them with the uh, offshore banking. Hello? Yes, I mean, obviously, like the, the grandparents, um, they went to that meeting at the Russian embassy. Uh, yeah, they, yeah. They were told then that um, they would be the last resort. It was going to be the father first, social services next. Well, what happened it was actually, I, I'm, what happened today, um, I received um, um, a forwarded email from a local authority and they are saying that uh, grandparents uh, left and they are, it, it's, um, it seems like they are not interested. They are also, I, can, I, can, I can publish this email actually, yeah. or extracts. And, um, that the assessment wasn't finished and um, however um, my parents are preparing statements um, uh, on about this interview and I was writing today, I was right making my notes today to help them to compile this witness statement but what they're saying that um, you see they've been invited They've been, invited, they've, been, they've been made to believe that they're coming and they're going to see children almost every day. This yeah, has been I said. mean, they're, they're coming from Russia, though, aren't they? Yes, yes. And yeah. um, uh, also, Russian consul, uh, consul looks like he was persuaded. Um, and then he persuaded my parents to come. And um, the kind of, the carrot was, oh, you're going to see children just almost every day. Something like that been said. And of course they came, you know, they came right away. But when they came, um, and during the first interview, it was it became obvious and um, apparent to them that um, the idea is for them to um, the idea of this interview 
was uh, for the for the grandparents to uh, to to comment or to agree with uh, Puffley's judgment, and uh, social worker made it very clear to them that depending on the on their conduct and on the um, yeah on their conduct during the second interview where this. Um, where this reading of Puffley's document is supposed to be happening. Um, uh, and this, the, to agree with Puffley's judgment, basically. Exactly, exactly. And they said, and they'd also to, um, been told that they're not going to see children. Children are not ready to see them. They're not, they're not psychologically, psychologically prepared to see them. And it could be very stressful for the children to see their grandparents. Right, right. right yeah. This is what they normally say. Yeah. This is Tavistock. This is Tavistock. Yeah. Tavistock. And um, not just that, Tavistock. they're also... Um, it, uh, well, it's slip... probably Peter Wright, isn't it? Well, this is why they've got all this. That's why they're all psychiatrists. This is why they use psychiatry. This is the terminology they use yes. on um, you know, vulnerable people. This is what they do. They, get, they, they put themselves into positions as psychiatrists. Like, 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 Dr. The, like Dr. Sturge, for uh, example, ah, exactly. who's been covering many, Dr. many Sturge, others. Exactly other uh, yeah. cases as well yeah. and um, she's been she's been declaring children yeah. uh, mentally Doctors ill good. and yeah. uh, and the um, and the parents as well and that's what this what they're trying to t to do to me the yeah. whole time trying to this is what their agenda to to say that I'm uh, mentally ill so people really you know Somebody, obviously are not. <laughs> this is why we speak this is why we're speaking about it because yeah, yeah. we really feel that people need to be aware, mothers, they really need to be aware of this, of this phenomena. That, well, exactly. I that mean, many... where, where can you turn to? I mean, it's, well, it's not a good situation, you, well, is it? You turn, you you turn to your, need to you turn, turn to, to your, an authority. You turn to, this is what you're hearing. You turn to, no, you can't turn to authority. You have to, turn, well, well, alleged authority. You turn to authoritative members of your community, trusted members of your community. Or maybe your family yeah. and work out the plan and really work on the plan to take children out of the country. That's the only thing. This, this is, is the only, this is the only, um, once it looks you, like the only solution we, we can yes. see at the moment. Once unless discover, people are going to... Vicky Haig says... What else can you do? That all, Vicky Haig says all a mother needs to do all the mother has to do is meet a paedophile. And you're finished. Because once, and you're going to lose your ch child. Once you're any children. children that are involved in the relation, they don't even have to be children, offspring of the union. They may be your own child that you bore prior to that relationship with the paedophile. Exactly. Yeah. And what, there is an American case is going on at the moment where this woman, she, she only briefly um, was, I don't know, dating maybe this pedophile or member of the cult in, yeah. in a completely different state. She's in Georgia and I think some, he's from somewhere else. And um, so this man, who is not even father of, um, of the boy, he claimed uh, residential rights over this, uh, over this, over this child and um, two judges in uh, Georgia, uh, Georgia or Florida, um, gave, you know, gave mother undisputable rights over the child. However, this, this, uh, this guy, he went to California and got another judge to, to support his allegations um, against the mother, some, some kind of allegations, and um, they, took a, they took a boy, they gave boy to him. Uh, some I don't know so the marshal they called uh, the marshals or something like that. Yeah, yeah. They, so they, you're they saying that the uh, and uh, from another state. From another and, state, yeah. They came to took the boy and they put mother in the in jail. She's in oh jail my now. God. This, this, the same? this is the future that they want from us. They can just turn up, say, I like that child. This was going on it. in France. The same case mm -hmm. in France. They're doing it now. They're this, doing it exactly. A month ago, um, a mother. Uh, and uh, grandfather, who children confined to, uh, they've been declared um, mentally. She was declared mentally ill. Uh, they said that they coach and torture children in saying things that uh, uh, their dad was killing babies at front of the camera. And he's an, he's um, he's a builder for the um, uh, for the cult members in south of France, Saint Tropez. So this woman and grandfather was put into jail for three years. Each. 
So it's going on. It's going all over the place. It's yeah, going also, um, and they're covering. They're covering and you're they. You're saying about this case in Norwich as well. Exactly, which are they trying uh, Norwich, to squash yeah. it now? Norwich, yeah, they they they, they, they put a bit of a a, pre a press blackout on that one. What happened initially? The BBC were reporting on this one, That's and right, they yeah. they called the claims of them because there are ten there are ten alleged professionals. The lead protagonist in this in this little saga is a woman called Maria Black, and um, there are six women, four Black men. Widow. The Black Widow, yes. There are six women and four men. That's what she's known as in her local community. Right. Okay. Now, so as I say, there's six men and four women, six women and four men involved in this, and the yeah. children, five children. The children allege that they have been um, they've been sodomized and that they have been forced to drink human blood now the bbc or whoever is reporting on this <clears throat> called the claims or someone called the claims of blood drinking nonsensical however there's, however there's a, a senior fantastical, fantastical like nonsensical chair, yeah however there's a there's a senior social worker a gail barnum whom they're attempting to defame, who says quite categorically that the claims aren't nonsensical or fantastical in any way, shape or form. That she's heard, you know, she's heard you know, she's heard the children and she believes their claims. Now, the blood drinking was not being reported on. The case has been going on since two thousand and ten. And nobody's hearing about the case. And they particularly won't hear about it. Yes. They the won't. Press. They put a gagging order on the press because they won't hear about it. And there's 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 a Mackenzie friend up there reporting on it. But the reports that we're getting, you know, I'm sorry, we're reading between the lines and we see we're we're, we're getting diff, you know we're seeing something else because yeah. there are a lot of there's a lot of disinformation out there and a lot of co a lot of cointel something else counterintelligence operatives cointel oppos out there. Spooks, yeah. Well, Spooks. Recently, they passed a new uh, bill, didn't they, in the in Parliament? You know, to um, fund these kinds of operations. Well, of course, well, of course, because this is this is government. This is an um, extension of because government. Because obviously, obviously, they realise that you know the information is getting out now, and they need to uh, come with the disinfo, don't they, or actually try and take control of the actual situation if uh, they can. Yeah, with a controlled opposition, and you know, like web setting up. Setting up websites or, or other you know, other organisations pretending to help you, or whatever it is they're doing. So yeah, you've got to watch out for psyops. You've got to watch out for um, friends who aren't really friends, and um, just beware anyone who comes into your into your. Um, into yeah, the circle because people need to recheck everything again and, and they've double check. They got to check and double check, especially and when there's children involved. Most yeah. definitely, this cult. Yeah. This is look, it's a death cult, right? This is why they're sacrificing children. This cult has been practicing this this dark this dark art for at least twenty six thousand years. It looks like. This so I mean, the children were saying that they've got no name. This cult, <clears throat> but um, obviously there is. Um, Cults with names. I mean, they, uh, is it true they've got no name, or are they part of a, no, they a known know. cult? Different people, different people call, call, call you know, call ah, themselves different names. But you know what? Some of this cult has no name. I've heard this uh, recently on one of these yeah. um, right. videos we watched they have about, no name. about right. um, they're going extensively in those cults, and they say that the most wicked ones do not have a name. Precisely. Now. They, because they use, they use, how can I say, they use aspects of mystery, what, they're, what are known as the mystery religion. And this is what um, Adam Weishaupt was commissioned by the um, Rothschilds to do, to collect all of, the, all of the mystery religion's knowledge and bring it together. And this is, uh, they, 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 uh, they, they united it all under the umbrella, the umbrella of what they call the Illuminati. And this illuminate yes, the illuminated ones, and and, and we believe that this, of course, this refers to the rite of sodomy, the illumination, it, because that's an integral part of this cult, the rite of sodomy, whereby they stimulate the um, 
nerve endings at the base of the spine when they when they penetrate the anal passage of the victims with whatever instruments they're using because it's not it's not necessarily sexual um, the the reason for, the reason for for penetrating the anal passage of the victim then um, for many it's merely the mechanical so stimulation control control precisely to control the victim stimulation of the nerves at the base of the spine in order to create a a, a, a kundalini like um, sensation where rising where, kundalini yeah rising kundalini where it where it stimulates the third eye the pineal gland and causes the victim to have flashes or see lights or for their third eye to become illuminated the, and, and mm-hmm. some people say that's where the term illuminate comes from you want to say something no they believe they believe that by sodomizing children they're gonna get access to some some other places in the universe where they're they going to become it's a stargate, yeah. it's going to be cut they're going to become like a like a lord of this uh, particular part of the uh, universe so right. people yeah, they, believe, they believe they're going to come back um, as something bigger and better exactly yeah. well, but i believe that all this is on is all this ideology behind it is um, a, a, a mere a mere um, excuse a smoke to, screen for uh, Peter Fowler. For, for, for what, 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 what was what, 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 what's going what's really going on? Alright. I I think well I believe um, uh, that um, <clears throat> people joining this cult for power and money. This was happening. Because once they once they join then they're getting promotion according to their talents, whatever, yeah. actors musicians uh, artists you know they then they're getting promoted and that's why it's getting more and more difficult for you normal common people to to advance in their careers because all the do- doors locked you know you mm-hmm. have you have to you have to join the cult to to grow as a as a um, profession you, have to your to, to to succeed. you made a great Ella made a great you made a great point the other day when you're talking about the same point, oh, what, what did I say? What you said about about the cult is that they, um, because we said it's a death cult, and Ella says they they don't join because maybe not not because no. What I said, I think that um, they're sacrificing children, believing that this um, this um, well taking taking children's life, they're gonna prolong their own. And, the same um, as with the sodomy, they believe kind of, that they're going to take on the youth or the purity of the child, which is why they do it, allegedly. As to please the god of death. Yes. Yeah. And I was questioning that, I mean, do they, do they really, I mean, these people are normally educated, uh, but usually the one I've yeah. seen in the school, they, they, they are all, yeah. you know, people with high education. I mean, do they really believe this? That taking someone's life, you're gonna prolong your own. Isn't it obvious to anyone? By killing, you're only gonna get death from that. By 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 uh, by committing this act of murdering, what can you do? You're, not, you're actually gonna um, gonna I attract w- the worst karma to yourself. But well, I suppose like um, if it's your parents that's actually been bringing you up like that, and. You- you're just going to think it's normal, aren't you? From a from a baby, and you're growing up, and you're being shown that's how life is. Yes. And yeah. After well, a while, is, you're just going to start thinking that's how things course. are because you're in your own little world, aren't you? Well, of course, you've been But but many the people yeah, they're that. new to that. You know, yeah, yeah, like you're, nowadays, you're right. yeah, it's like people are joining. People are joining. Yeah. It's people the are money. Joining. It's the fame. And they would they say they're actually going. These agents they're going around um, places where young people. Um, hanging out, for example, they go to these festivals, the summer festivals, yes, they and they try to yeah. catch yeah. Uh, young people. Yeah. And w- but what I mean is, I mean, this whole ideology is really like just so, so, so laughable. I mean, do you really believe that? Well, I mean, for it's us, just really, um, it's really for, you know, for, for the power. They're doing for the power. They're doing for new age yeah. they're using new age ideology to, to trap the children that's right in these festivals that's true right? that's yeah. true as well. yeah yeah because i mean they've got them wearing skulls and all that now on the t-shirts yeah. and the hats and 
Yeah. All these satanic uh, symbols and death all that. Cult. All... It's a death cult. Yeah, they brainwash. Yeah. Uh... They believe in death. They believe in you death. Know? They glorify death. They worship death. They eat dead foods too. Guidance. Yeah. They eat dead foods. They eat dead flesh. Yes. Forget right. dead foods, dead flesh. What can you get uh, out of it? Yeah, but what, even cooked food is dead. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but if you if you you eating dead, whatever it is, how can you possibly expect any extens extension of life? Well, they get stimulation from eating it. They get stim. You see, all these blood products. Many of the many of the ancient religious traditions, they prescribe against humans consuming blood blood products, and our research now shows. Uh, the science behind it. You see, blood products contain um, many, what I call them, biochemicals. Blood products, yeah, but, uh, which, toxic which biochemicals. Are, the, yeah. Which occur during the time of death and the trauma, tra trauma that occur to both infants and animals. Yeah. At the, you know, before them, like for example, animals, they they are highly traumatized before they're taken to slaughterhouses, and yeah. of course blood will be adrenalized and then adrenal, adrenaline will break into um, yeah, very pro very powerful free radical adrenochrome which and is a powerful psychotomimetic right? which means that it creates it, it, it creates psychotic episodes delusion delirium and compartmentalization and compartmentalization of the, of, of the individual psych which is described by psychiatrists as schizophrenia. So schizophrenia is, is, is something other than multi-personality disorder. Schizophrenia is a compartmentalization of the individual's psyche, which um, adrenal, adrenochrome facilitates um, as it's a defense mechanism right. in order to deal with traumatic, traumatic experience. And this is why we feel that the the mass food supply is being contaminated with with fetal cells and with human flesh in order to um, create a form of mass schizophrenia or a mass capability of of compartmentalizing the horror of the wars that are going on on the planet and, and, and or violence and, yes. Yeah, it's a combination of things, isn't it? The foods, the, the TV the drugs, programming, the propaganda. Over, the over-sexualization over of the children. The, yeah. In fact, the hyper-sexualization, the subliminal sexual imagery in Disney's cartoons. The slave, economical yeah. slavery. Aha. Uh -huh. Sexual right. education at the school, learning, uh, they want to lower the age again, but I mean, it's pretty low at the moment. Um, Economic sex, you know, eight-year-olds. Do you know, in, in Germany there was a case uh, recently where five year, uh, at, uh, five years old girl uh, complained to her Russian parents that they are teaching children um, sex, uh, sexual positions, but, I mean, oh proper God. sexual positions. A five-year-olds. Five years old, in school, as it is actually a proper lesson. Part of That's the curriculum, yeah. and and those um, those parents were demonized, and um, um, they, they they really started to hang. They oh, they were wow. hunted out or something like that. Yeah, because they're not members of the cult. Ella. It's like the teacher. It's like the teacher in Hampstead. The teacher in Hampstead, who was arrested, who was in court for sex for abusing, touching a, a pupil. A Hampstead teacher was there. For touching a pupil, a nine-year-old girl, I think, and the judge acquitted him, saying that almost as if he was um, accusing the girl. But what happened was that there were 21. The point I'm here, I'm, I'm labouring to make is that 21 teachers were there in support. 21 parents of the school or other pupils. Yeah. Well, they're supporting the teacher. Yeah, I saw that but, story, yeah, yeah. I mean, what? They didn't name the school. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I wouldn't be surprised to find out what school. Yes, um.
It sounds a bit funny that 21 parents would be there in support. I mean, it's funny, isn't it, that number? And the thing was that the children told us about 20 special, 20 special families in us in, in yeah, Christ, yeah. Christchurch. This is what makes me. Because um, there so are. I mean, like, like we were saying, it's, it's, it's not the whole school at Christchurch. Obviously, they've got normal activities going on there as well. Yes, it's, yes, of course. It's yeah. just um, but a selection of children core, that's happened to you. But then, yeah. because of the area, it's quite a few schools within the, the vicinity there. So it's 20 times how many other schools. So then you're going into the hundreds then. Well, of course, yeah. But what you yeah. got to remember is that the teachers... No, it's just that, you know, Gabriel was saying, no, there's hundreds, there's hundreds of people. But it's, it's 20 and then another no, 20. No, no, no. 20 special families. That's 20. 40 yeah, people yeah. if you just count the parents. Then you've yeah. got, if you just count, then you've got the children. Some families have two or three children. So it's not just 20 children, it's about maybe 40 or 45 or anything. All right, let's say 40 yeah. children. But, but it's not the whole school there. It's not the whole school there. It's no, they, but if you've got, got but well, all, well. all the teachers if you've got 30 about, teachers, uh, are members of the cult, 30, yeah. 30, 30, 30 members of staff. 30 teachers, then you've got 40, 40 parents. Then you've got another forty children. There's hundred and ten. And then, and then there are, about. and there are extended yeah. families as well. Yeah, and then you've got the yeah. nursery. Then you've got the nursery next door as well. So, yeah, it's and so then the, you've got the vicar, and you've got. The and vicar. then you've got the special day on Wednesdays where people yeah. from the outside of school were joining in as well. And how in, about, the, in, in the in the sex so-called sex parties. Yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. They did. They advertised them as fun sex parties, and they were ha and they and they have them in their own. They entertain these parties in um, their own, in their private um, domestic dwellings. Yeah. And the children yeah. told us that. I think who was it? Who was having parties at their house? Mr. Mr. Hollings, Hollings regularly had, and um, they described the house of Mrs. Forsdyke and Vanessa and Fitzpatrick. Vanessa Fitzpatrick. Yeah. And also, Galina Upson was supplying uh, empty properties for for the rape of the children. Children yeah. being taken out by the school bus um, in groups and taken yeah, to those addresses. Um, but I mean, basically, I was down there. You wouldn't really think of it if you didn't know that this was going on. You wouldn't think of it. Oh, all of looks innocent not. above board. But obviously, I did see children being moved around and all that. But that, that could be a normal as activity well. as well. But well. It's a cult stronghold. Yeah, look, yeah. Look, look uh, um, guys, this is another thing we've learned. The church and the school are strategically placed on two dissecting ley lines, which makes the church an auspicious place to do child sacrifice because it amplifies the energy of the child sacrifice. Yeah. And so we were wondering, why they sent so many spooks and FBI, why they sent, spent, sent the FBI bitch, the MI5 witch, and the ex-policeman snitch to come and... Sabotage. Dine. Sabotage and stop the gatherings. The Sunday vigils outside the church. We wondered why they'd gone to so much trouble. Yeah. And when we, when we learned that, you know, they, they wanted to continue their sacrifice there because of its auspicious position on the two dissecting ley line we you know we we, under why we understood why they why would they protect the why children? don't they protect that why position they, yeah yeah Rob. they took the children on a 9 11. all right it's called jamatria they're um what is it is it whose numerology is it is it kabbalistic kabbalistic yeah, yeah. Kabbalah. okay and um so they wow. took the children on 9 11. They closed the case on 9.22. They like multiples of 11. Yeah. They like 9s and they like 11s, but they don't like 10. Like police report is 77 yeah. pages. Yeah. And they tell you to call 911 in America. Call, yeah. Call 911. And um, they don't like, you know, they're averse to, to 10, and it's a round complete. It's a complete, it's a holy number. So. Yeah, so you're, you're right about these trolls and that um, an agent down at the church and everything coming, because they was down there filming people, weren't they? They was filming a lot of the support, supporters that oh, had actually made their way down there to, to the about, Sunday service. To, um, you're talking about the, the, the Liverpool connection as opposed to the the 
Well, I mean, th there was that woman with the Liverpool connection, but I mean, th obviously there was other agents there. Um, yeah. But basically, you know, th that's what I'm saying. The amount of people that's involved in this case trying to stall it and mess it up. You know, people online making comments, uh, concerned comments and that you've got these trolls, you know, uh, bad mouthing them and threatening them and stuff like that. Um, the people that went down to the church, they was filming them, they put them online. You know, gave them funny names and put them in videos. And these are the tap. These are these are the tablets, not round type think tank psyops that are being funded by by gov by yeah. government. This is you know this is this is part of the course. This is GCHQ, MI5. This is the government thing. Yeah, yeah, they're funding, aren't they? You know, child abuse well. is the main one, isn't it's it? Because it involves the politicians, and 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 we can get them on this, can't we? Of course, look. It's just money making. They're they want creating. to take your children, kill your children, rape your children, sodomize your children, sacrifice your children, and steal your money and leave you destitute. So that you're unable. You while, while distracting you by entertainment, by the television, Absolutely. and by all this, and by, and by stressing people out but with all the wars and terrorism and conflicts and all this nonsense. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of a form of mind control, isn't it? Exactly. You know, what to uh, change people's attitudes Mass and behaviours and, um, and mind now, control. And now I'm I'm really I'm really really concerned. It's been on my mind today all day that uh, children are been visited by the psychiatrist psychiatrist yeah. while in care. Trying to alter their huh? thoughts and that. Trying to yeah. alter their thoughts and, that and, yeah. and their opinions. Exactly. Exactly. My parents asked them why psychi a psychiatrist. I mean, are in their hospital? Are they ill? Oh no, no, they're not. It's just they've been visited, or because they're so stressed and they're so uh, they what well, this. It's their normal procedure, isn't it, to throw in the psychiatrist and stuff like that? Because of obviously they, they don't want people to believe that this story is true, so they're, they're going to say it's you, it's your mind. This is they're what trying to say it. it's the it's the Zorro movie that they got it from, and you know. Well, which, which Zorro everything. movie? And and uh, and uh, then everything is going to be clear. Guys, just, a minute, just a minute. Psychiatry is the real shadow government. All right. This is how they're using. This is what they're using. They're using Freud and Jungian techniques to play with the mind of the populace. They're telling the people that being mass mind controlled, what to wear, what to eat, when to work, when to sleep, when to laugh, when to cry, when to live. And when to die. They yeah. even tell you how long you should live. I mean, people need to switch their TVs off, really, don't they? If someone comes along and tells you now Immediately. that death is neither inevitable nor necessary, you'll believe the corporate lie that death is. You won't even, people won't even have the energy to even play with the idea any longer that possibly yeah. we're being lied to and that death is neither necessary nor inevitable. That we're living in a death cult. We're being ruled by a death cult. They they make war. They and, and they create so much death because they feel that it will make them wealthy. That they will it's they will gain some reward from it. And when they create war, they do mass sacrifice as well. That's right. They're it's, doing it as a sacrifice. A mass blood they sacrifice. create wars to create a yeah to to create a blood to 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 shed blood. To so drain blood from Goyim. You've got this new world yeah. order. You to know, drain they blood from the Goyim. Take down the population, don't they? To drain blood from the Goyim. The numbers. To blame drug. To blame. To drain blood from the Goyim. To appease their bogeyman god of death. Because their god is a god of death. They fear death. Yeah. They have no real faith, and they attempt to cheat death with dead offerings, offerings of dead children, and blood. Yeah. They've misinterpreted ancient scriptures, which tell them to drink the blood and eat the body of the virgin goddess, of the virgin, yeah, of someone pure. But what is, but, but, and they misinterpreted these ancient, these arcane writings to mean that they should be drinking the blood of innocent children. Yeah? What's he saying? Prohibit cannabis. What was that link? What's the Pope saying? Huh? The Pope saying that, yeah, that, um, cannabis, um, they shouldn't legalise it. They shouldn't um, legalise it, yeah. 
Šta je fista ko bi im dali nula? Let's legalize human blood drinking, shall we? Let's legalize pedophilia and sodomy, yeah? Yeah, well, they're they more or less are legalizing it, aren't they? And let's slow down. The let's slow coming out and they're, and they're stopping it, aren't they? They're hiding it. And, and lower the age of consent. Let's lower the age of consent as well. Yeah. Don't forget yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And teach they, they, four year olds. They, they're lobbying it everywhere in Europe. And, That's right. And teach, yeah, four and five year old sexual position. This is where we are. All right? And cannabis is a perfect food. And according to Cathy O'Brien, she's a. Um, She's a, satanic she's a survivor. Ritual. She's a survivor of MK Ultra or satanic ritual abuse, and she in, says in, in in U.S. government. Yeah, and she says George that, Bush wasn't it? No, do you remember? I, I don't think remember. so. Some some president. Bush. She says that cannabis deletes and prevents mind control programming, and we found that even within 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 these popular cultures, these contemporary cultures, that people who even though they smoke cannabis because we don't condone the smoking of cannabis. We can it's not inappropriate. Yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not the ideal way of communing with the plant, but it is such a sacred food and but such an ideal that, that even by smoking it, people derive some, can derive some, some benefit from it. However, um, if you go to www.cannabisinternational.org, you, you can get the science. It's a bit late in the evening for me to be doing the science of... Um, cannabinoid acids yeah. as opposed to cannabinoid neutrals. So what I will say is that by heating or drying cannabis we create unnatural compounds which can um, create overdose at very microscopic levels, at small do levels, at low levels. However with... Um, when the smoking they, they activate it, the psychoactive effect. Yes, cooking or heating the plant, it, it what happens is that the TH, the, the cannabinoid acid molecules, they lose the acid part of the chain and they become neutral. And in their neutral form, they're way, they can be way more potent. Toxic. And they're unnatural. They can be, yeah, they can become, you can have an overdose at very low. They can become toxic at very low. So it's like just yet another thing that they've hidden from us, you know, healthy foods. Well, it's because of, pro it's because of prohibition. It's because of prohibition there hasn't been sufficient um, research done into it. It's been until yeah. 30, 37, 37 it was prohibited. 1937. Before yeah. they've been prescribing cannabis in uh, all pharmacy around mm. the world. Yes. As, um, as, um, as one of the most, uh, as one of um, um, uh, treasured, um, treasured herb, yeah. her herbal medicine plant. Nothing mm -hmm. to do with uh, Monsanto. Um, because they seem to have taken no, over a lot of the... Monsanto, they want their, their intention is to control the global food supply, which is why they, they're making these Frankenstein, Frankenstein um, foods, and you have to go back to them for seed every year. So if, your farmer ha if a farmer can't produce his own seed or her seed, and they have to return to a centralised sort of governing seed body, as it were, then that, that, that governing body can decide whether or not you and your people have food or not, because they hold the seed. So they shouldn't be able to hold the seed. These are heirloom seeds, these are seed, this is food for the people. So this is their intention. Yeah. I mean, a corporation shouldn't hold a seed, so I mean, the seed's on the plant, isn't it? You know, right. it's, it's there for everyone to use, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. no worries. Thanks a lot, Ella. Thanks a lot, Abraham. Thank you, thank you so much. Have a blessed evening. Thank you for your evening. time as well. And yeah, thank no you worries. for... Uh, for um, uh, for you, for helping us to fight for the children. Yeah, well, let's hope we can actually do something, you know, for them and for the other children. Haven't you been on? Haven't you been on the thing? When you go in the Hampstead cover up now, there's so much, there's so many videos. It's crazy. If you go, if you go, if you put, uh, if you insert Hampstead cover up in you on YouTube or Google, it's yeah. uh, it's a lot of pages now available. Right. Yeah, yeah. Even if you put Hampstead in. <laughs> If you yeah. put Hampstead in, you're getting, you're getting um, houses for sale, people say. Um, not, not if you, yeah, if you go for today, if you put in today, then you would do, yeah, but if you just put Hampstead in, just as, you know. Yeah? Yeah, that's all that's coming up on the first page. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, so you're doing well, you're doing well, the message is getting out. The message and is getting out? The message is getting know. out? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, the message's out, the message's out.
Imagine. So let's hope they can actually do something, you know, and let's get a change. We want to tell people to go up the court on the 23rd, all right, then? That's what we want to tell them. To come and support us and to, to join the... Uh, apparently there are, there are protests going on in London now, yeah? There's a couple last of times. Weekend, yeah, last, last weekend. Last weekend, and uh, so we do... Um, you want to contact those two guys, I've got the Facebook link, contact them. It will be great if people will come and support us on the 23rd inside the court because it's going to be opening uh, an open hearing or outside yeah. and um inside and outside yeah yeah all right you want to be yeah. there is actually but but the um uh the um the well the process itself starts what on the 15th 23rd is an appeal we are um, appe appealing against um public's judgment but on the 15th they are started the starting the the hearing about um, about the children. Well, right. Okay. Listen, I don't want you to record this now. You have to switch off now. Man. And it's all around the country and the other world. countries. And you've we seen the children, but the mothers they're taking the babies from. You've seen them, fifteen-year-old girls in Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that footage. They give them uh, two. The baby factory. Yeah, they give them two, three pounds for their baby. You're joking. It's me. You're talking to me. After they look, they put them up for nine months. The woman, the baby, the woman goes, the girl goes there. They feed her. They give her, they give her accommodation. They give her everything she needs. And then when she has the baby, there's three quid. See you later. Yeah, I saw the accommodation. It weren't much, was it? That's right. I said, yeah, we, Africa is something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, even in China, even in China, they got these baby banks now, aren't they, where you can just drop your baby off. In India, they do yeah. in India the same thing. Yeah, but in China, they're yeah. eating them. In China, they're eating them in a restaurant. Yeah. We're putting a stop to it. <laughs> Listen, I'll chat to you tomorrow, innit? Yeah, stay blessed. Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Good night. Thanks, lot, Ella. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Sorry to keep you up, so. Yeah. Okay, no worries. I want to ask.